the conservative United States writer and commentator Brad Hayton, has died at the age of 26 after falling ill. A friend, Morgan Murtaugh, found her unconscious on Thursday. She died in hospital, where she was found to be suffering from H1N1 flu and meningitis. Online magazine The Federalist, which Peyton wrote for, said she brightened the lives of everyone around her. Peyton made several appearances for Fox News and also appeared on other major channels, including the BBC and CNN. Thank you everyone for your prayers. It is with you have a heart that I type this. Unfortunately, Bray has passed. Please send prayers to her family. Rest in paradise, you beautiful soul. HTTPS T. Cope Fnato. End of Twitter post by Ed Morgan Murtaugh. She fought strong and lived a life worth noting in the books. A memorial page said, We are so incredibly honored to have known this wonderful human being. Megan McCain, the daughter of the late United States, Senator John McCain, under prominent political commentator. Pay tribute. Ben and I are absolutely gutted and horrified by this news. Our prayers far at Bra Payton and her family, we are less without her in every possible way. A wonderful, fearless, vibrant, intelligent young woman, sending prayers to all of her family and friends during this darkness. HTTPS T. Coke okay, 5 and Fred 7 Chai. End of Twitter post by at MEGHNNCCAIN. A poacher has been ordered to watch the Disney film Bambi, repeatedly, after he was convicted of illegally killing hundreds of the Missouri hunter David Barry. Chia must view the film at least once a month during his year-long sentence. He was arrested in August along with two family members for killing the deer, taking their heads and leaving their bodies to rot. Prosecutors said, it is reportedly one of the biggest poaching cases in Missouri history. On top of the jail sentence, of the illegal deer hunting, Judge Robert George ordered Barry Jenner to view the Walt Disney movie Bambi, with the first viewing being on or before December 23, 2018, and at least one such viewing each month thereafter, during his spell in prison. The 1942 cartoon about woodland creatures shows a hunt to kill the mother of eponymous deer character Bambi. A months-long investigation spanning several states led to the arrest of Barry Jr., his father David Barry, Sr., and his brother Kyle Barry. According to a local newspaper, the Springfield News Leader, while the total number of deer taken illegally is unknown, Lawrence County's conservation agent Tandy Bonds said it could be several hundred. Barry Jenner received a year-long sentence in Lawrence County Prison after pleading guilt to illegally taking wildlife. He has also been sentenced to a one to zero day term in Barton County Prison for a firearms probation violation, and both he and his father had their hunting privileges revoked for life by the Missouri Conservation Commission. Two Scandinavian women tourists have been found dead in Morocco, with cuts to their necks, the country's interior ministry said. Both bodies were found near the town of Imlil in the High Atlas mountain range, near the foot of North Africa's highest peak, Mount Tepco. The women, from Denmark and Norway respectively, have not yet been named. A police investigation has been launched into their deaths, the Interior Ministry statement said. A popular tourist attraction has become the latest Chinese company to show solidarity with Hu Ala's chief finance officer, Meng Wanzhou, who was arrested in Canada on 1 December. Shannon Mountain Scenic Park in eastern Hainan province said it would waive the $9.40. 65 yuan ticket fee for anyone carrying a Huawei phone. Miss Man, who was given bail in Canada, 
faces extradition to the United States on charges of breaking Iran sanctions. Her case has up tensions with China. Use Huawei phones. Shoot grand photos on the mountain. A notice on the Shannon Park's social media account said, We wish friends around the world who support Huawei success and bliss. The offer would last until 29 December, the South China Morning Post reported. But it was met with some criticism among China's social media users, who claimed it was discriminatory. Huawei phone owners are being offered other enticements to they can get a 20% discount at a border in Beijing. Seen in Beijing, bring a Huawei phone and get 20% off. Similar to this story we covered yesterday, HTTPS, T, QUXL19YPQLPIC, Twitter, com soccer love, end of Twitter post by Atlu Ocean G. At least one firm has threatened to penalize anyone buying Apple products. A few days ago, Manpad Shenzhen, based legend display manufacturer offered subsidies to any employees buying Huawei phones. It also pledged to fine anyone who bought an Apple iPhone. United States prosecutors, a legend misman, 46, used the Huawei subsidiary called Skycom. Derived sanctions on year on between 2000 and May and 2014. They also alleged she publicly misrepresented Skycom as being a separate company from Huawei, and that she deceived banks about the true relationship between the two companies. Miss Man, who is the daughter of Huawei's founder, has denied any wrongdoing and said she will contest the allegations. Life of Huawei's high flying errors. The United States has been investigating the Chinese telecoms giant, the world's second largest smartphone maker, since 2016, believing that it used Skycom to bring United States manufacturing equipment and millions of dollars in transactions to Iran in violation of sanctions. Miss Man's detention comes amid an increasingly acrimonious trade dispute between Washington and Beijing. China is angry at her detention, saying she has not violated any laws. Beijing has threatened severe consequences unless Canada releases the executive. Since her arrest, two Canadians, a former diplomat and a businessman, have been detained in China on suspicion of harming national security. United States President Donald Trump said last week that he might intervene in the United States Justice Department's case against this man if it would serve national security interests or help achieve a trade deal with China. If I think it's good for what will be certainly the largest trade deal ever made which is a very important thing, what's good for national security? I would certainly interview if I thought it was necessary, he told Reuters news agency. Canada reacted by urging Mr. Trump not to politicize the situation. Our extradition partners should not seek to politicize the extradition process. Are you set for any other than the pursuit of justice? Foreign Minister Christie of Finland said, the United States military says it has killed 62 fighters from the Islamist group Al-Shabaab in six airstrikes in Somalia. Four airstrikes on Saturday killed 32 militants, and a further two on Sunday killed 28, it said in a statement. This were the deadliest air attacks in Somalia since November 2017, when the United States said it had killed 100 militants. Somalia has seen a sharp increase in the number of air strikes and casualties since President Donald Trump took office in the United States in January 2017. A tally by the Bureau of Investigative Journalism reveals that at least 400 people have been killed in air strikes. Since the beginning of 2017, far more than the previous 10 years combined.
The latest strikes bring to at least 40 the number carried out in Somalia so far this year, compared with 35 recorded in 2017. The United States has a huge military base in neighboring Djibouti, from where it launches attacks on the militants. Mr. Trump gave the United States military greater authority in March 2017 to attack militants in Somalia. Traditionally, United States presidents have been wary of intervening in Somalia since it is special. Forces soldiers died fighting militias in the capital Mogadishu in 1993, a battle dramatized in the film Black Hawk Down.